What's going on guys? Roll 89 here. I don't know if you can tell, but obviously I'm not in the Cobalt, I'm not in the Explorer, and I'm not in the Toyota. That's because I'm in a 2018 Buick Encore, and it is our courtesy vehicle, which in other words is our rental from the Chevy dealer because they kept our car all weekend to mess with it, and I'm sure they still haven't figured out how to fucking fix the thing because from the looks of things they have no fucking idea what's going on just like we don't so i mean i'll give a little review about this thing and i'll let you know what's going on with the car in today's video but before i start today's video guys i'm gonna cut off some cars in traffic for one for two let me give a shout out to one of my newest subscribers i haven't made a video in a while and the last video i made i didn't give him a shout out but I'll give him a shout out now. It was Jacob Moore. Thank you for subscribing. Hope you enjoy the content. Anyway, guys, for today's video, um, my car got dropped off on Friday and um, they wanted to replace some fucking connector that we already had replaced. I mean, I guess they weren't happy with the way I did it, so they wanted to do it, so I said, fuck it, let them do it, they'll probably do it a little better, being that they do it every day, um, so they kept the car all weekend, we've called them, I haven't called back yet, we're waiting to hear what's going on with the car, and how much we owe, and all that, so for now, we're in this Buick, my review on this Buick is, it's, honestly, it's a piece of shit, I mean, it's real fancy, you know, if you're into that sort of thing. The windows are kind of huge, kind of annoy me. There's a lot of blind spots. The backup camera kind of sucks. Um, as far as space goes, it, it, I feel like my little Cobalt, little car, which is a Chevy Cobalt, has more room than this fucking thing. I mean, I don't know if you can see in the camera, I've got some bags in the back here and some other stuff I've got to do and take care of. And it barely fits in here. My car, I mean, this thing's only got two bags in here and the back seat's full. My car, I could put four or five, maybe six bags in the back seat, no problem. Um, I'm not impressed with it. The leather seats really suck. I mean, you know, some people are into leather seats. I'm not really into it. Um, I don't like them. They're cold when you get in them. They're hot. They're cold when you get them and it's cold out. Excuse me. And they're hot as fuck when it's hot out when you get on them. You know, I'm not a fan of leather. I don't like them. Like I said, you know, I'm not impressed with the interior. You know, I've driven newer cars before as rentals. Um, I've driven my... My mother has a Chevy Sonic, which I, I don't really like. That's another piece of shit. Another complaint I have with this thing is it's got a six-speed automatic transmission. It's Tiptronic. Um, I feel like it shifts like crap. It's doing too much shifting and I know it does that to save gas but you know my opinion I feel like later on down the road this thing's gonna have tranny problems because it already shifts like a piece of shit comfort wise it's not too uncomfortable it's, it's pretty comfortable it's not bad but it's not the greatest thing I've ever been in and I've driven a lot of cars in my life anyway the uh, the radios kind of iffy like this big digital stupid fucking Thing they got going on it's a big screen I mean it's, it's probably like this big you know I feel like that's a distraction for the driver it's good for the passenger if they're using it but if I'm the only one in here and I'm trying to mess with the radio or do anything with the radio you know I feel like it's a, a fucking hazard I really don't think you should even touch the radio in a thing like this if you're driving the issue with the car with the Cobalt why we have this rental currently is uh it gets stuck in park, it throws two check engine codes, and it won't um, shift after a while of the code being on, which it's an electrical problem, which sucks with all these newer cars, because if something electrical is fucked up, it fucks up the rest of the car, and like I said, doesn't allow it to shift, which is a big no-no, because I need to drive the car. Um, I'm hoping, you know, if they call us back soon, that maybe they found the problem or maybe they have another idea that they can do that they think will fix it. 
Otherwise, if they can't figure it out and they have no idea what to do to fix it, then I'm more than likely just going to go and get the car, give them back their rental, which I'm not so impressed with. Obviously, you guys know that. Um, we'll see what happens. So far, my review on this car, guys, has been a lot of negatives. As far as the positives go, it's it gets up and goes pretty quick for what it is. Um, you know, not, that's not to say I'm speeding like a fucking maniac. I'm just saying when I need to switch lanes or get over and, you know, get moving and in and out of traffic, it does pretty well. The turning radius is pretty good. I mean, this thing turns almost completely fucking sideways, which is nice if you're going to make a hard turn. Um, steering wheel is pretty comfy. I don't know if this is like fake leather or pleather. I don't know what the fuck this is supposed to be. It doesn't really feel like real leather. It's, it's, it's pretty comfy. It's adjustable, which is always nice. I mean, I think all my cars are adjustable, so that's nothing too fancy there. But, you know, it's also got black interior, which I'm a fan of. I like dark interior. Never understand with these new cars, though. They do the whole lower half dark, and then you got the top half here is like a light gray or a beige, you know, and I never understand that. My Cobalt literally is all beige, so, I mean, you see every dirty mark, and, you know, the kind of shit I do for a living, I'm always dirty. So, I mean, I guess the black interior would be good for that. But, you know, you can just clean it and not be lazy. So, once I get where I'm going, guys, and I uh, stop and park for a minute, I will get out. I'll show you the car, let you check it out. Um, you know, you guys can say what you think in the comments. You know, maybe you've had a good experience with these Buicks. I'm not a fan. You know, I'm not really a fan of Chevy either, but I do love my little Cobalt. It was a cheap car. It's good on gas. It's a reliable car most of the time. Um, you know, I like Ford and Toyota. That's just me. I mean, you know, you could be one of those Chevy guy. Ah, oh, Fords are exploding and trannies and this and that. You know what I will say? My Ford and my Toyota both always bail me out. So that's all I can say. My Chevy, it's not that it lets me down, but, you know, Chevys tend to have an electrical problem with everything, you know, whether it be the new ones like the shit I'm dealing with right now or the old ones where you would have lighting issues and it tends to be like a ground wire or something stupid like that or like a, one of the sockets for the lights short out, you know, but they, they do have a bad name for electrical problems. I'm sure they have solid transmissions, you know, I mean, I don't know. I've never really owned too many Chevys. This is only, my Cobalt is only my second Chevy. First Chevy I had was a, I think it was a 92 or 93. Uh, actually, it wasn't even a Chevy. It was a GMC. It was the same fucking thing. It was a GMC Sonoma, which is the same as a Chevy S10. It was automatic was the first problem. It was automatic. Transmission was blown. When we had purchased it, we knew it was blown. But the kid had told us the spare transmission he gave us with it in the bed was a good transmission we put it in did all that was not a good transmission the fucking thing exploded and would not fucking move so we got rid of that this chevy the cobalt i'm speaking about so far has been a great car i mean you know it's a solid car other than what we're dealing with right now i mean the only thing i've ever done was the radiator and it didn't rain it took me one night to do it like i it blew at night at like eight o'clock at night i think i was done by one in the morning that's including getting it towed home, going and picking up the other radiator and all that jazz. Unfortunately, guys, I can't put a front-facing camera today. It's uh, not my vehicle. I can't go putting my little fucking camera mounts on the dash, you know. So all you get to see is this beautiful mug. Sorry. Once the windows are up, I know people like that whole, you put the windows up, you can't hear anything outside the vehicle. Oh, it's a Buick. Me, personally, I'd rather hear what's going on I don't like that noise canceling bullshit because it gets really fucking stuffy in here because of how sealed everything is which some people are like oh well isn't that what you want and I'm like well I guess but not me I like that my car has worn out trim and you can hear the air and you can hear shit going around you know there's also a cute beagle in front of us right now in the car in front of us hanging its head out the window which is adorable I love beagles in case you guys didn't know. Don't have one. Love to one day. But anyway, off topic. Um, 
I don't know. I mean, I guess I can't complain too much. It's a rental car I get to use while my car is, you know, messed up. But I would have preferred like a, a Chevy Cruze or something. But it really wasn't my choice. So you take what you can get, right? All right, guys. So I've stopped for a minute. I've got a few minutes. Camera's a little crooked. That don't matter. Anyway, I'm going to give you a little view of the uh, whole thing. I'll take you around, show you the outside, the inside, the back, the space, all that. You'll see. Let's go. So guys, here's the inside. Here's your steering wheel. Um, here's your big fucking display they've got. I mean, the only thing I like is if you want to tune in, you can punch in your fucking radio station, which is cool. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's all right. It's not too bad. Let's get out and take a walk around. I'll show you the rest of it. Ah, here's your door controls, which I don't give a fuck. I got all manual windows. So let's show you the car real quick, guys. Once again, guys, it's a 2018. Buick Encore, as you can see, courtesy vehicle. Let's open up the back here. Show you the back. Here's the back. Not much space for something that's supposed to be an SUV. When I own SUV, guys, I have a lot of space. This big plastic fucking thing is a real fucking nuisance if you're trying to fit stuff. I mean, other than that, I mean, I guess it's okay for like a suit dummy. No offense to suit dummies watching. Let me show you the back seat real quick, guys. That's another thing I'll show you too in a second. Here's the back seat. Here's the front seat. Not bad seats. I mean, they're all right, but not my style, guys. Um, you know? That's pretty much it, guys. Um, I don't really know what else to tell you about the thing. I don't really like it for an SUV. It's pretty fucking small. It's more bubbly than anything. And I know the sun's in your face, so I can see it fucking glaring. That's the other thing, guys, before I get out and uh, go what I gotta do. The fucking key, it, it's a, a push button to start, which I know 90% of new cars are. Um, there's something on the fucking screen there. Anyway, I know 90% of new cars are a push button, guys. This is your fucking key you have to carry around for the fucking car. I mean, it's got a fucking laser cut key in it, but like, you don't stick it nowhere, you know? And there goes the fucking key, guys. You know, I just don't understand why all the new cars are these big fucking pieces of shit. You gotta wear either around your neck or you gotta leave in your pocket or in the cup holder, yada, yada, yada. It's gotta be in the car. I find it really fucking annoying. But we'll be back, guys. Gotta run in here and take care of some stuff. So we're back in the car now, guys. And still have a few more things to do. But I think I've covered everything today. It's bright and nice of a day as it is today. Spring is finally actually starting to show itself. Um, I'm hoping I can get back out on the moped, mess with my scooter, get a new scooter, get some good videos for you guys. And with the warm weather, I'll do some more RC videos. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Once again, thanks to my new subscriber, Jacob Moore. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Roll 39. Peace.